Too, Cappy. <laughs> I forgot my sunglasses. You want to wear mine? But there is no one here. No one here. All right, I lied. There's like two boats over there. That's it. They're gonna be easy. So yeah. it's Tuesday. Two boats and a jet ski. It's a work day. So we have no one to work around. The water's slightly colder, so we're gonna. I'm putting them on, on my wet suit. We're gonna deal with that, but uh, but I'm not going underwater today. It's a little too cool for that. It is. So we're gonna do a little hunt and see what we, uh, what we can dig up. It's Tuesday, so it's right after Memorial Day. So uh, hopefully a lot of boats are out in the water and uh, losing stuff. Ready to do this? Jump in, I dare you. <laughs> All right, catch you guys on our first find. First signal, it's loud. 13, 15. Tab. All right, got ourselves a 29.30. My first target for the day. Yeah, it looks like a quarter. Here's George. Yeah, cool. Okay, getting a 27.25. Two to three down. Flashlight. Cool. Laser radiation. Avoid direct eye exposure. Cool, that's interesting. 13, 14, this is usually a pull tab. But you gotta dig them, right? You gotta dig them pull tabs. Because at some point, it could be a ring. It might have it. Yep, so I said, you gotta put those pull tabs out to find the ring. What the heck is that? Some electrical piece. You're my first find. <laughs> I'm back on the board. You're on the board. Angel's not having too much luck today. We just started out though, so I don't know what she's complaining about. Ooh, a scoop. Ooh, a scoop. What is it? Uh, clasp. Buy something for a boat. That's what it looks like. Cool. Like a 16, 17, a little jumpy though. Haven't been having too much luck today. So far, I'm two quarters. Oh, there it is. I'm like you know, 20 full tabs.
that. Oh, that was a lot of work for that. There you go. Sorry for the wind. The wind's starting to pick up pretty good right now. The boat's actually starting to get pushed around a little bit. And it's starting to get a little rough out here, a little choppy. Like we do. Quarter. Oregon State Quarter. All right, up the dollar. We saw it 11 single, it's about three deep. Maybe that is it. That would be it. That's an 11. All different. different signals here. 9, 31, 15. Maybe it's a pair of sunglasses or a cell phone. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything else, which I think there is. Nope. That's it. Alright, so I picked up a 9 signal. We had fun. We had a good time out there. We had a good time. Uh, we just didn't find a whole heck of a lot of good stuff. Bottle caps and pull caps. But galore. We had a couple hookups in the way. I mean, the first thing that yeah. happened was the normal marina that we went to was closed. Yeah. So that took an hour of our time. Uh, that, so it's possible that we were off by just a hair. And I want to say a contributing factor to that was the fact that my GPS for some random reason stopped working that day um, weekend rained Re cold. So yeah, the weekend was a bust yeah so originally when we were talking about this hunt this was a big hunt that we planned um together we were just saying that you know with memorial day weekend being that weekend we would go back on the tuesday um, there would be a lot of boaters out there on memorial day weekend potentially a lot of people things. a lot of rest a lot of drinking a lot of like partying a lot of barbecuing um yeah. all on boats just didn't um pan out like we wanted to but um, we know there's a lot of stuff in there from previous years. I mean, so, every weekend there are boats there. Right. This is where I found the um, golden diamond ring before the last haunt ring. So check that video out if you missed it. There was also a lot of boats around, so you could check out the scenery when there is a busy weekend going on. Um, Put it up over here. Or maybe another, over here. <laughs> there was a lot of trash. Um, found some interesting things. Interesting and smelly. Oh God. All right. If you've never been to the Barnegat Bay, <laughs> let me explain it to you. When those shovels come up. Those scoops come up with that mound of sand in it. It smells like mm. low tide. <laughs> it smells like low tide. And if you've never smelled low tide, it smells rotten like rotten eggs. Rotten egg sulfur, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's also these giant, like thick, like right. I mean, sometimes this big worms yeah. 
that come up with it. No, the next time I think I'm going to show it. Because sometimes them. they're like hanging out of the scoop and they're like dangling and they're all like, Ugh. I don't know. They're just worms. Big, big giant <laughs> worms you never would imagine would live under your feet in the bag. Yeah. That's why I wear water shoes. Water shoes. <laughs> okay. This is what I found. I found uh, five quarters, two dimes, and a penny. Um, found a couple other interesting, like this is a hook, probably to a boat, sailboat or something, maybe to like a bimini top for a boat. A random key. I see that key. Yeah. It's old. It looks old. Yeah, it might be to like a padlock or something. Yeah. Along the lines of that. It's not a house key. No. A random cap. Does anybody know what this is? Or what it might be too? I couldn't figure it out. I pulled it out. I mean, it, it came up, I think it was like a 35. Yes. Somewhere around there. Um, and then it started jumping all over the place, yeah. getting lower. But it, at one point, had like a chain attached to the top of it. So it was definitely not meant to fall. Like the toilet thing, where it chains and it like oh God, closes the not. toilet. You know, like, and then when the water goes down, it no, they're closes not, the they're toilet. Not, they're not even on the metal. Maybe I don't on the know. boat they are. Okay, now I'm not touching that. <laughs> okay. Um, some lead sinkers. Angela found three vapes. Yeah. I thought but this was cool. You had to think of I found this. That is cool. It would have been cool if it worked. I know. I, I, I started looking this up, and what I, I'm almost positive it is, is a laser flashlight. Laser flashlights are just a highly sense. highly concentrated beam of light that shoots. I mean, it, I think they range like half a mile. Yeah, it says laser, laser radiation. And they they keep a very tight, very controlled beam. NDWI ink. I'll have to look that up. Yeah. From what I know, this is they're, they're fairly expensive. Mm -hmm. So somebody was probably very upset that they lost this in the day. Floating but yeah, you could see the water in the... Oh, it smells. And Mark tried to open it and it started to smell. I said, like, don't even open it. Don't it smells open awful. It. How much um, money did you find? I found 61 cents. I found two quarters of dime and a penny. That was it. And I also found this though. Well, actually, I found the target. I dug, 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 and I kept feeling it with my scoop and I could not get it up. I had trouble pulling it out of the... And I told Mark to come over there and he finally got it up and it was, it was that. I thought it was going to be like a cell phone or like something, something interesting. Finally got it up. Nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> Talking to the mic. <laughs> is if you like our content, you like our videos, um, subscribe, thumbs up, like. There's plenty more to come. And we come out with a new video every Tuesday, yeah. so stay tuned, hit the notification button, and we'll see you on your next hunt. On our next hunt, I should say. <laughs> Let me do that over. Cut. We'll see you on our next one. <laughs>